Hello there. Today I want to share with you about a very complicated and perplex subject. Um, it's going to be called What is a Woman? Okay. Um, if we look in the dictionary, there's a lot of definitions for what a woman is. So we want to look at what a woman is um, biblically, what a woman is in terms of God's plan, in terms of God's vision, in terms of God's way of purpose for her. So before we begin, um, let's just pray together. Okay. Heavenly Father, we glorify you this afternoon. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the abilities that you have given us, mighty God, even as we share this word by the power of your Holy Spirit who is present even this very minute. Mighty God, we pray that this word edifies us and this word increases our faith and this word even delivers us from unknown things that are not godly, Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus and we give thanks to you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, before we begin, we want to do a bit of an experiment. Okay, so I'm going to show a video where I'll be dressed differently and then you can actually um, make a decision on which one or which Daphne looks more like a woman. Okay? So, see you in a bit. Okay, so, welcome back. So, which Daphne did you think looks more like a woman, in your opinion, between the first one and the second one? Okay, if you made your decision. Okay, um, well, whatever decision that you have made between the two options, um, your answer is wrong. None of those um, two descriptions can be evaluated as being a woman. In other words, what I can say concerning that is that looking feminine does not make you a woman. Looking more feminine does not mean that you're a woman. Looking feminine has nothing to do with being a woman, biblically. Um, rather, looking feminine means that you are a female. It has everything to do with being a female. But looking feminine Looking more feminine than the other woman does not make you more of a female than she is. It just means that you look more feminine, but you're both females. Now, to understand what a real woman is, we have to go back to the beginning, to the beginning of creation when God created the first woman, who is Eve. We have to look at what happened, um, what was God's plan, what was God's purpose, what made God name her a woman, what what did she have and what was she that describes her to be a woman? Then we can understand um, what a woman is because I believe that in this generation we have really um, become so ignorant that we think that looking feminine is being a woman. I mean, we hear all these phrases that say um, size zero is not a woman or I'm a woman because I have hips and because I have this. That's... I mean, that's just ignorant. Um, it shows that it lacks the wisdom of God. It lacks um, intelligence. Um, it, lacks it lacks understanding. So let's go back to the beginning of creation when God created Eve and see what it was that uh, made her a woman. See, I love the story in Genesis chapter 2. I mean, this is the first love story that we have in the Bible. And... It's such a beautiful story. So if we go to Genesis chapter 2, verse 22. So it says, Then the rib which the Lord God had taken from men, he made into a woman 
and he brought her to the man. I like the Amplified Version. It, um, the Amplified Version says, the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man, he built up. He built up and made into a woman. Now the Hebrew word for woman is ishasha. Ishasha. I'll spell it on the screen for you. So the rib that the Lord God had taken from Adam, that same rib was built up into an ishasha. Now the Hebrew word ishasha means female, woman, wife. So this ishasha is a three-in-one dimensional human being. She is a female she is a woman and she is a wife. She is three in one. Now, when we talk about being a female, what is it that means that you are a female? What is it that distinguishes a male and a female? Okay, first of all, let's just keep in mind that we have female animals and we have female plants. But this is a human female that we being, that is being spoken about. Now, what makes you a female is the fact that you are able to bear children. You are able to give birth and bear children. This is why you are a female. Now, this has everything to do with your body. Being a female has everything to do with your body. It has everything to do with your hips. That's why you have wide hips. That's why you have a bosom. And so, when we see um, the world being obsessed with things like hip injections and bum injections and breast implants, um, and thinking that this makes them a woman, it's astonishing because this has nothing to do with being a woman. This is all given because you are a female. It's so sad when you see females boasting about having, you know, big chest and big hips. <laughs> I mean, these things are like small things. These things, um, they don't make you a woman. These things just mean that you are feminine. You are a female. And if someone has a smaller hips or someone has smaller chest, it doesn't make them less of a female than someone who has a bigger chest and, and bigger hips. You're both females, but you just look more feminine. It has nothing to do with being a woman. You're both still f females and you're both able to bear children. You're both able to breastfeed. I mean, it has nothing to do with being a woman. And it's so sad when men become so shallow and they are looking at women, they're looking to marry or to be with women who have a big chest and big hips and big derriere. I mean, these things are so shallow. I mean, no wonder we have so many unstable relationships. No wonder we have so many relationships that are not leading towards marriage because people are looking at females. They're not looking for women. They're not looking for wives. They're looking for females. They're just looking at the body. The body has everything to do with a female, but not much to do with being a woman or a wife okay and speaking of being a woman um, that's the second topic so a woman a woman um, a woman has everything to do with being a woman is the level of maturity this is now whereby it's a it's a higher level it's a higher level it's higher than being a female. It's higher than being feminine. Now what is being considered is your character. What is being considered is your personality, your intellectual. Because um, the word of God says, First Peter chapter 3, verse 3, Do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is very 
precious in the sight of God. Uh, my sisters, being a woman, it's not the outward person that we are seeing that doesn't make you a woman. The inward person makes you a woman, the beauty of a woman, the gentleness, the quietness, the understanding, the perseverance, the strength, the beauty of not arguing over small things, the beauty of understanding. So women have that deep understanding. They have that intellectuality of understanding things. They have the ability to discern things. And this is the beauty of being a woman. This is what it is to be a woman. It's not like Jezebel who is um, disgusting, who is um, cruel, who is demanding, who is bossy. That's, that's not what a woman is. Um, it's not, it's the wrong picture of a woman. So here, um, the Holy Spirit is trying to show us that um, being a woman is the inward person. It's the inward person, it's the inward beauty that is mostly being forsaken in this generation because everyone is looking up to Kim Kardashian, everyone is looking up to, um, you know, Nicki Minaj and people like that because of what they look like. I mean, God bless them, but looking like that doesn't make you a woman. I mean, they look great and everything, but what is the inward man saying? What is the character saying? What is the personality saying? I mean, how mature are you? I mean, what's the maturity level in terms of making plans? I mean, in terms of saving money, are you saving money or are you buying weaves all the time? I mean, I mean, do you plan your future? Do you have any plans, any visions, any desires in your life? I mean, it's not all about how you look. It's not all about how you look because the outward beauty is fading. The outward beauty is it's for a moment. It's for a time. It's not forever. But the inward person, that is forever. The way you think, the way you reason every day, the way you do things every day, you know, that is the most important thing. And then thirdly, um, since the Ishasha, the woman that was created by God, is also a wife. Uh, I'm not going to speak much about being a wife because I'm not yet a wife. Um, but I can share a little bit about, you know, being a wife by the wisdom uh, that the Lord gives us, the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. That, you know, being a wife, this is now a level of responsibility. So to recap, being a, a female, that's a level of, of being feminine. Then being a woman, that's a level of maturity. Then being a wife, that's a level of responsibility. Now, that level needs a lot of grace. It needs the intervention of God. It needs the power of the Holy Spirit in order for it to function. Um, in order for it to flourish, you need um, that grace from the Holy Spirit. You need that um, enabling power. That's what I believe um, when it comes to being a wife. So um, that's what I wanted to share with you. I mean, in my book, Incorruptible Beauty, if you haven't yet heard about it, um, this is the copy of the book. I mean, I discuss more about, you know, being a woman. What is a woman? Uh, in chapter 2, let me just read uh, the introduction in chapter 2. I'm saying that, what is a woman? Is it her 36-inch hips, 24-inch waist, or 36-inch bust? What is it that makes her beautiful? Is it the tone of her skin? The texture of her hair? I'm saddened by how the world is raising up empty cylinders plastered with good looks. I'm sorry that Hollywood testifies that your look is all you need to walk up the mountain of life. They lied. There's more to you than that cola-shaped body that you have. There's more to you than your envied full lips. There's more to you than those big pretty eyes and high cheekbones that you have. Yes, there is a great deal more to a woman than her outward appearance. When God fearfully and wonderfully made her, this mystery went beyond her physique. It went beyond her intellectual and sexuality. What 
does God say about a woman? After all, it is God who formed and built her. In this chapter, it will be revealed to you what a woman is through God's holy and flawless scriptures. By the end of this chapter, you'll be able to know what a woman is, her character, excellence, beauty, mission, and role on the earth. So I just felt like I should share that with you as well. Um, in the book, I speak, you know, about what a woman is. I, I mean, I go deeper into how she was created, what purpose she had. Uh, for her own life and what vision she was meant she was given in her life and in the life of a man and I believe in this generation we have really really become so ignorant and so so selfish to think that um, you know it's all to do with what you look like which really 90% of it has nothing to do with what you look like to be honest with you um, it's such a small percentage that has to do with um, what you look like. And, um, yeah, you know, I just want to encourage you that, you know, if you don't have big hips, you don't have a big bosom, a big derriere, it doesn't make you less of a female than someone else who does have that. It doesn't make you less of a woman. In fact, it has nothing to do with being a woman or a wife. You are still a female, and your inward beauty, your inward character, if it's filled with the wisdom and the knowledge of God. If you are filled by the wisdom and knowledge of God that comes from the Holy Bible, if you are filled by His wisdom, you know, woman of God, you will be so beautiful inside. And I believe that when you have that beauty of the Holy Spirit, when you have that beauty and that glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, it has to overflow. And people, when they look at you, they see that, wow, look at this woman wow look at this female i mean they won't see they won't see the chest they won't see the hips they won't see all that but they'll notice something there's something about you because it's the glory of god that is that is upon you it's the beauty and the wisdom of god of how to be a woman how to be a woman according to his plan according to his purpose how to be a wife even be before you become a wife because it says that he who finds a wife and it says that who can find a wife? You know, this is something that is taught by the Holy Spirit. This is something that is taught through the Word of God. It's something that you will actually have before you begin, before you become that wife. And I just encourage you to, you know, study the Word. Let the Word overflow in you that you may be built up inside, that you may be built up into a woman of God, that you may be built up into that perfect wife for your future husband because you are already a female. You are already a female. And, um, yeah. So, uh, God bless you. And uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship um, of the Holy Spirit be with you today. And always.